Right now, the state Supreme Court is hearing oral arguments over Wisconsin's district maps. We're live at the Capitol where protesters are voicing their opinion on redistricting. Also, a deal to free hostages held by Hamas could come at any time now. What the deal entails. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in. We begin with breaking news where the Wisconsin Supreme Court have heard oral arguments in a high-stakes redistricting case. The lawsuit would determine if the way the current state's maps are drawn is unconstitutional. Lawyers for the liberal plaintiffs argue that the current maps break redistricting principles that you can't have districts with islands separate from the separated from the district. Conservative lawyers argued the court had already ruled on the current maps, saying they're okay. Our Catherine Merck joins us live from the Capitol with the very latest. Catherine. Mark, well, oral arguments just wrapped up here at the Wisconsin State Capitol. Behind me, there was a group of people here watching what was happening on some screens, and they're now starting to trickle out. But earlier today, there were dozens of people against the maps, holding up signs and protesting. Take a listen. We want fair maps. We want fair maps. In our Many groups calling the current state maps gerrymandered say this benefits the Republican Party in the state, which is the majority in the legislature. Through songs and chants this morning, the executive director of the Wisconsin Democracy Campaign told me the groups weren't staying silent on the matter, even if it's already in court. I want to see more competitiveness. I think everybody would want to see their districts be more competitive, so better ideas and better politicians come out of them. There's a lot of people that are concerned and want to make sure that not just for them, but future generations, they've got fair maps. Like I said, just a couple of minutes ago, the oral arguments wrapped up. They, the Supreme Court is expected to reconvene at 1230 on different subject matters. We're going to have live team coverage of everything that was discussed related to the redistricting case. That's going to be live team coverage at 4, 5, and 6 o'clock, all on News 3 Now. And you can have more information as well on our website at channel3000.com. Reporting live from the Wisconsin State Capitol, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. Busy day at the Capitol. Catherine, thank you. A man accused of firebombing an anti-abortion advocacy group's office in Madison last year has agreed to plead guilty in the case. Renindu Chaudhary faces a mandatory minimum five years in prison and a maximum 20 years in prison under the Anti-Terrorism Act of 1996. The incident occurred on May 8, 2022, less than a week after a leaked Supreme Court draft opinion indicated the court would likely overturn the landmark Roe v. Wade case that protected abortion rights nationwide. Molotov cocktails were allegedly found inside the office suite. DNA on those cocktails is allegedly matched to the suspects. Roy Chordery was arrested earlier this year at Boston Logal International Airport just before he was able to board a one-way flight to Guatemala. A man found guilty of killing a Madison woman in the summer of 2021 has been sentenced to 40 years in prison. A jury found Greg Rather guilty of killing 55-year-old Patrick McConnell, McCull in September. Court records say Rather had been living with McCullough for about a year prior to her killing. An autopsy revealed McCullough died from choking and blunt force trauma to her torso. Rather will also spend years of suspended uh, supervision and 25% of his prison wages will be garnished for restitution. Let's head out to the weather patio. Meteorologist Jacob Montesano has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. A little snow this morning. Yeah, and we actually had some snow stick on the ground, but all that snow has melted at this hour. Taking a look at the current radar, a lot of the snow has really cleared out of our area. There could be a few small pockets where a few flurries are still occurring, but nothing is showing up on radar. Now, like I mentioned, all the snow has melted, but here's a look at the snowfall accumulation. Most of Dane County saw about a dusting up to a half inch, but areas near Fond du Lac and Sheboygan saw closer to one to two inches. But my guess is even that area will likely see that that snow melt before the day is up. It's just the ground is a bit too warm and that typically is what happens in November. Now looking at the forecast throughout the day, some areas are seeing sunshine right now. Here in Madison, we're seeing plenty of cloud cover, but before sunset, we may even see plenty of sunshine before another round of clouds moves in 
Still going to be mostly dry, although could maybe see a sprinkle or two tonight. In general, though, we're not expected to see much precipitation going forward, and especially by the time we get to tomorrow morning, we are going to be dry. Now, looking at the current temperatures, upper 30s right now in Madison, but off to the west where the sun is shining at this hour, temperatures are in the middle 40s, and much of our area are expected to get into the 40s as our entire area will see some sunshine at some point. East of Madison, it's a bit of it. It's not guaranteed you'll see that sunshine, so temperatures may be a bit cooler. But in general, temperatures will be very similar to what we saw yesterday. Now, we're going to see the temperatures slowly cool off, but for Thanksgiving, we'll be pretty near average. I'll have the details for your holiday forecast coming up a little bit later. Hey, very chilly out there, especially with that wind. All right, Jacob, we'll check back with you in a few minutes. Thank you. Flags are flying at half-staff around Wisconsin today to commemorate the two-year anniversary since the deadly Waukesha Christmas Parade tragedy. In 2021, Daryl Brooks drove an SUV into the parade's route. He killed six people and injured dozens more. Last November, a jury found Brooks guilty for his crimes. He's spending the rest of his life in prison. Today, the city will dedicate a new memorial to the victims of the attack and hold a memorial service in the evening. Multiple sources tell CBS News that a deal to release some hostages held by Hamas could come at any hour. In addition, Gaza would get a limited pause in the fighting and more aid, including fuel. A senior Hamas official also tells CBS News 150 Palestinian prisoners will be exchanged for 50 hostages. Ian Lee has more. Thick smoke fills the air of Gaza while fierce fighting continues on the ground. This could end, at least temporarily, if a hostage deal is agreed upon. Mr. President, is a hostage deal near? No, yes. I believe so. But I'm not prepared to talk to you. so? Yes. Sources tell CBS News dozens of hostages held by Hamas could be exchanged for Palestinians in Israeli prisons. The deal can't come soon enough for the families of the missing. Last night, some accused far-right lawmakers of not prioritizing their loved ones. People are dying. We know that for sure. We all feel, especially when we're talking about our families, that this should be the top priority. The agreement could also include a pause in the fighting to let aid in. The entire population of Gaza, around 2.2 million people, now need food assistance, says the World Food Program. Many try to scrape by, hoping not to get caught up in the fighting. The Hamas-run Ministry of Health claims more than 13,000 Palestinians have been killed, while the State Department confirms at least six Americans, including five soldiers and one border police officer, have died in the fighting since the October 7th attack. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. And once the deal is announced, it will still need to be approved by Israel's war cabinet, the full security cabinet, the full government, and the Supreme Court if the deal includes the release of prisoners. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. A California company is recalling several fruits sold nationwide, where that fruit is being sold, and Olive Garden enters the holiday merchandise business. That's next in the Money Watch Report. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. You're the people who make junk disappear? We brought a whole truckload of magic. <laughs> but I heard it got junk. I love you. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Do you suffer with pain, numbness, and tingling in the hands or feet? Commonly diagnosed as peripheral neuropathy, are you taking drugs such as Lyrica or Gabapentin that have serious side effects and often do not relieve your symptoms? Your doctor has told you you may just have to live with the pain. Peripheral neuropathy is a result of damage to the nerves, often causing burning, weakness, pain, numbness, tingling, and the most debilitating balance problems. Our facility uses multiple therapeutic methods to help give you relief from neuropathy symptoms with no injections and no drugs. You may start seeing relief after only a few sessions. To determine if your neuropathy symptoms can be relieved, we will do a consultation to evaluate the extent of your condition. Call us today to schedule your neuropathy consultation to find out if you're a candidate for our therapy. Call today. 
At Informed Choice Insurance Agency, we're proud of our five-star reviews. Andrea was amazing. From her knowledge to her skills in navigating complicated and intimidating waters, I cannot emphasize enough how much she helped me and my family. Get five-star service at Informed Choice Insurance Agency. What can our foam do for your home? You'll be warm and comfortable inside, even when it's freezing outside. Your furnace will run less, keeping your heating bills lower. You'll have consistent temperatures throughout the whole house, and those annoying outside noises won't be nearly as loud. Upgrading your insulation upgrades your life. Winterproof now and get 0% financing for 72 months. USA Insulation. The right ones with the good stuff. Car F starts and sounds. Parts, sales, and service. An investment you'll enjoy. Make life easier. Experience the new Holland Compact Tractor that's best for you. Six-year powertrain warranty. Available today at Carl F. Stotts & Sons. Superior service since 1930. CarlFStotts.com. Carl F. Stotts & Sons. You're the people who make junk disappear? We brought a whole truckload of magic. <laughs> We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. California-based HMC Farms is recalling peaches, plums, and nectarines sold between May 1st and November 15th of this year after food regulators linked them to a possible listeria outbreak. So far, 11 people across seven states have been infected. One of them died. Consumers should throw out the recalled fruit, which was sold nationwide by retailers including Walmart and Sam's Club. Elon Musk's company X, formerly known as Twitter, is suing liberal advocacy group Media Matters over its report showing advertisements running alongside neo-Nazi and white nationalist posts on the platform. X claims the report was manufactured to drive away advertisers. Media Matters called the lawsuit frivolous and has accused X of trying to silence its critics. Recently, multiple companies, including CBS News parent company Paramount Global, suspended ads on the platform, citing concerns over them showing up next to pro-Nazi content. Musk's sharing of an anti-Semitic post last week has also impacted advertising on the site. And Olive Garden wants fans to show their never-ending love this holiday season. The restaurant chain, which specializes in Italian food, has released a line of holiday-themed merchandise celebrating some of its most popular items, including a cheese grater and a breadsticks dog toy. The items can be purchased on Olive Garden's website. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Jared Hill. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrial is down 69 points. The NASDAQ off 94. The S&P 500 down 10. Our call for action volunteers are in the building taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Volunteers are here every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you can call for action right now at 608-270-2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Well, after the break, we have today's egg prices along with Jacob's complete forecast. And then today on Live at Four, we'll meet a Middleton native who's in the cast of My Fair Lady opening tonight at Overture. Oakmont Senior Community in Verona for active seniors 55 plus is now offering one month free rent and one year free heated parking with every new one bedroom rental. Call Demry today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Think all Medicare plans are the same? Think again. A Medicare Advantage plan from Dean Health Plan gives you the benefits you need with premiums as low as $0 a month. Medical, hospital, and prescription drug coverage comes with $0 co-pays for primary care doctor visits. And extra benefits can help you save even more. Get preventive and comprehensive dental, $250 for eyewear, and $750 for hearing aids. Plus, you can save on over-the-counter health and wellness items. All this and a free fitness membership at more than 20,000 locations. Call 1-866-249-1748 now to request your free Dean Health Plan Medicare Advantage Guide. 
That's 1-866-249-1748. Dean Health Plan, right here with you. There's never been a better time to buy a new beauty rest from Steinhoffels. Save up to $900 on adjustable base sets. Queen Beauty Rest mattresses start at just $399. Or upgrade to the luxury and comfort of a Beauty Rest Black for only $44 per month when you use Steinhoffels 72 month financing. Plus, get $300 in Steinhoffels cash and a $100 MasterCard rewards card. Shop in store or online at Steinhoffels.com. Relax, it's Steinhoffels. Oakmont Senior Community in Verona for active seniors 55 plus is now offering one month free rent and one year free heated parking with every new one bedroom rental. Call Demry today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. On the Jennifer Hudson Show, Adam Sandler delivers the laugh. Plus, how one family honors their heroic son. You're going to have me in tears. Then this little sensation steps into the spotlight. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. Wednesday morning, we'll help you plan for Thanksgiving and the Packers game. We'll have some quick and easy recipes you can whip together in no time. And we'll have an update on the colder weather for the end of the week, end of the weekend. Join us tomorrow morning between 4.30 and 7. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Well, Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report is out of the radio barn today, so here are your farm numbers. Last night's Late Show with Stephen Colbert featured a guest who needs no introduction. David Letterman returned to the Ed Sullivan Theater for the first time since retiring from the show eight years ago, and the audience was thrilled to see him. Please welcome back to the Ed Sullivan Theater, Mr. David Letterman. No stranger to an entrance with a warm welcome and booming applause, David Letterman returned to the stage he knew for two decades. but this time as a guest, in the chair, and not behind the desk. Welcome back, Dave. It's good to see you. Okay. It was the comedian's first time returning to the Ed Sullivan Theater since he hosted his final Late Show more than eight years ago. This yes. is the most enthusiastic audience I have been near since the night I announced I was quitting. <laughs> On Monday's highly anticipated appearance, Letterman noted some things have changed around the theater. It's like a mall. It's unbelievable. But the road back to the Ed Sullivan Theater is something he never expected, as he told CBS Sunday morning ahead of his final days in 2015. I don't think I'll ever be back in this building again. Honestly. But he did, in fact, come back and updated his successor on Life Away from Late Night. Uh, my wife and I uh, run a lot of errands. Uh, or, or we talk... <laughs> the night concluded with a moment fans thought they would never see again. Have a seat, Dave. Have a seat. Uh, Letterman jumped back behind the desk. What do you think of my supplies? Is that anything like what you had over there, down there? What, all this weed? <laughs> Vladimir Jutit, CBS News, New York. It's good to see him back. The Rolling Stones are hitting the road with a 16-stop stadium tour next year. Mick Jagger, Keith Richards, and Ronnie Wood are kicking off their concert series on April 28th in Houston. The closest venue to us is in Chicago on June 27th, where the band will perform at Soldier Field. Tickets go on sale December 1st. The tour supports Hatney Diamonds, the legendary rocker's first new album since 2005. It debuted at number one in the UK and number three on the Billboard 200.
200 album chart. The single Angry has been nominated for a Grammy in the Best Rock Song category. Well, after a few flakes this morning, things will be drying up. Here's Jacob with a complete forecast. Yeah, we're really not expected to see much precipitation going forward, at least for the rest of this week. So if you look at the three things you need to know, that is the first of the three things. The second, temperatures are going to slowly cool down. By the time we get to Friday, we'll have high temperatures in the 30s. Then that looks to continue through the weekend and next week. Our next chance of snowfall looks to be on Sunday. So here's a look at the current radar. All the snow has really cleared out of our area. Some areas may still be seeing some very light falling snow, but nothing is showing up on radar and we're not going to see much rain or snow going forward. We'll see some clear skies today and then more clouds early tonight before more sunshine returns during the day tomorrow for Thanksgiving. You know, a few clouds here and there, but remaining mostly dry and that's really going to be the story for the rest of the week. Just kind of on and off cloud cover, not complete sunshine, not complete cloud cover. And even when the clouds do roll in, we're not expect to see any precipitation along with them. So here's a look at the forecast for today. Highs will be in the mid 40s for Madison, upper 40s as you go further west, maybe staying in the upper 30s to the east of Madison as the eastern portion of our area may see a bit more cloud cover throughout the day. For tonight, we'll see partly cloudy skies. Low temperatures will be in the 20s for much of our region, fairly close to average for this time of the year. And we'll, we will remain near average as we head into tomorrow with partly sunny to mostly sunny skies. High temperatures once again in the middle 40s. And for Thanksgiving, we'll be right around 40 degrees, so a bit colder. And then for Friday, we're going to be uh, quite a bit colder with the high temperatures in the lower 30s. And that's going to continue for the weekend. And it looks like the cold weather is going to continue for much of next week with that snow on Sunday. Day. But at least for the next several days, if you plan on traveling uh, for the holiday, once the current moisture that's on the streets right now, once that dries off, we're, the streets are going to remain very dry for the rest of the week. But looking at weather across the nation, if you plan on traveling via airplane, there is going to be quite a bit of rainfall for the rest of today into early tomorrow in the East Coast. But for the most part, Wednesday is going to be fairly dry across the United States with only some lingering rain uh, along the East Coast. The snow will stay well off to the north. And then as we get into Thanksgiving, looking off to the northwest, we're going to see another system move in to the eastern Rockies, possibly impact Denver and bring a few inches of snow there. And by the time we get to Saturday, it will move into the central portion of the United States. And like I already talked about, we do have a chance of snow on Sunday. And so the system looks like it will track into our area by the time we get to Sunday with more rain to the south of our area. So that's kind of your airport forecast. Expect some delays in the eastern half of the United States today into early tomorrow and then the central United States for Friday and Saturday. Now here's a look at our 7 to 10 day forecast outside of Sunday. We're really not expect to see much precipitation at all. Temperatures are going to be cool by the time we get to Friday and they are going to remain cold with highs consistently in the 30s and those overnight lows will be in the lower 20s and upper teens. So it's definitely going to feel like winter and by the end of the 10 day forecast, actually not even by the end, by the middle of next week, the average, the average high temperature will be in the upper 30s and it will stay there for a few months. So winter is uh, definitely anything crazy, nothing well, well below average, but at the very least, you know, it is going to be dry for the next several days for the people that plan on traveling for the holiday. 30s for a few months. That's reassuring. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there will be a few days up in the 40s, maybe even 50s, but it's time to get used to this weather, basically. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. There's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. I'm next. Howard has some practical advice for Turkey Day in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Thanksgiving is a couple days away, and to get you ready, we'll show you how to make and carve the juiciest turkey ever. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Win a hand paint jackpot at Hope Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dallas, and you'll have a chance to win a new Mercedes and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Drawings going on now at Hope Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dallas. Anybody that knows me here knows that I'm always focused on the customer first. I want to make sure that we don't have to worry about this door next year, the year after that. <laughs> I'm not an actor at all. Here, Precision, we're here for you. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Score the lowest prices of the year right now at Brothers Main's Black Friday sale. You won't find lower prices anywhere and enjoy our free delivery. Shop family-owned Brothers Main's low price guarantee on brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, KitchenAid, and Amana. Feel like family. Brothers Main. 
This is Matt Gunderson. It still hits me every time TAPS is played. We're honored to serve those who served. An eligible veteran's life celebration includes honors recognizing their dedication and selfless service, including uniform and medal displays. At Lawton Cates, we connect you with top medical specialists after a serious injury. We hold the insurance company responsible for your lost wages and hospital bills. And we won't accept anything less than what you deserve. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. At Informed Choice Insurance Agency, we're proud of our five-star reviews. My agent Matthew explained everything about Medicare and the needed supplemental insurance. He took the time to show me several different plans and the plus and minuses of each policy. Andrea was amazing. From her knowledge to her presentation to her skills in navigating complicated and intimidating waters. I cannot emphasize enough how much she helped me and my family. Need help with your Medicare or Marketplace health plans? Get five-star service at Informed Choice Insurance Agency. Save on big projects. Menard's 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. Don't miss out. Make over your laundry room. Save 11% on Criterion Appliances. Transform your home with 11% off new Mastercraft doors. Build your dream bathroom and save 11% on luxury tubs and showers. Or go even bigger and get 11% off a new garage. Don't miss out. There's no limit to what you can save. Menard's 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. Save big money at Menard's. Win a hand paint jackpot at Hope Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin, Dallas, and you'll have a chance to win a new Mercedes and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Drawings going on now at Hope Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin, Dallas. When I hear that many of you get up in the wee hours to get your turkey cooking so you can use your oven to make other stuff later, I just shake my head. I always suggest roasting your turkey the day before and then reheating it right before dinner. It takes just minutes, and you'd never know that the turkey didn't come right out of the oven. After cooking our turkey, we cool it before carving it. First, we remove the drumstick. Then we're going to gently bend back the thigh away from the frame and cut between the joint with a knife or kitchen shears. Next, cut along one side of the breastbone, like this, removing half of the breast in one piece. It'll look like a big boneless roast. After doing the same thing to the other breast, remove the wings and place the cut up turkey in a heavy roasting pan. Then you can pop it in the fridge overnight. To reheat it on turkey day, pour some chicken broth over it, cover it and heat it in the oven or steam it right on the stovetop for about 15 minutes or so. Then right before serving, slice the breast across the grain for the juiciest turkey ever. And since you cooked it ahead of time, you won't have that huge last-minute mess. The step-by-step -step video on how to carve a turkey, plus our recipe for classic roast turkey, are online now to change the way you cook and carve a turkey forever. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where every day we're looking for the easiest way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Mm. And here's Jacob with one final check of the forecast. Thanks, Mark. Let's start with our weather photo of the day. This photo was sent in by Julie Ann from Lancaster showing completely blue skies, but also the moon visible during the day. I know as a kid, I always thought that was fascinating. So thank you, Julie, for submitting that photo. And you can submit your own photo through our app or through the email address you see on screen or through our website, channel3000.com. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast. Pretty dry going forward. We do have a chance of snow on Sunday, but after that, we're going to be fairly dry. We're going to see highs in the 40s for uh, today through Thursday. And then we're going to see highs in the 30s from Friday through most of next week. All right, Jacob, thank you. Thank you all for watching. Hope to see you back here at 4 o'clock in the meantime. Have a great afternoon.